Welcome to this radio channel and I wanted to uh, share something that um, I think is really worth it if you want to have fun playing around listening to the shortwave bands from different areas around the world. Now first of all if you don't have a shortwave radio and want to have an idea of what it sounds like well this is a great website to check it out because you can tune shortwave receivers live and of course have an idea of shortwave what it is. Also, if you do have shortwave receivers, it's fun sometimes to tune around at different areas. It's kind of cool sometimes to look, for example, at a, you know, what, what's the quality of reception of the same signal you're hearing at home on your radio uh, compared to another place. So you can tune around. Uh, sometimes it's, oh, I can't hear that broadcast here. It's never going to propagate here on that frequency in that time of day. But you can use an online receiver to tune that signal, for example. So, um, you know, it, it, it compensates, and I think it's really something that uh, is an add-on to our hobby. It's not, uh, a lot of people are saying, oh, well, you know, with the SDR receivers online now, why should I buy a shortwave radio? Well, it's not the same, of course. Um, all of you that are radio fans like me, of course, know that it, there's nothing better than listening to a signal from your own radio at home. But this is a compliment. You can actually listen to signals or compare signals in different parts of the world of the same signal the same radio station so sdr did hu which is a big list of receivers which are mostly uh, dependent on the kiwi sdr type sdr for software defined radio you click the receivers and there are tons of receivers online everywhere simply just make sure that the receiver is of the type uh, that you want for shortwave uh, with the frequency range that you see. So here you have all these receivers. You can check it out. Different receivers from everywhere in the world, um, you know, from uh, Canada, different parts of Canada, from uh, different parts of the United States, Australia, lots of receivers in Europe. You can just have a lot of fun in, uh, you know, in Asia, Japan, whatever. Simply go around and check out these receivers. A lot of them are online. And the only drawback since most of them are Kiwi SDRs, they often have a max of four users at the same time. So sometimes it might happen that a receiver is not available. So you can try again later, but you know, just go and use another one if that one's not available. It's a really, really fun thing. So all you have to do is you, know, you click a receiver, for example. So here's the link for uh, SK3W in Sweden. So you just click and it brings to you the interface to listen to the radio. So you've got the interface available here. So you see at the bottom now I've got the full interface. I've got these panels here that you can actually uh, use and remove if you want to have a better look. You tune your receiver towards here. So for example, if I want to tune 6070, I would just type that and press enter and it tunes to me automatically uh, that frequency range. Remember that it has um, the possibility of, of course, you, you can view a waterfall so you can actually even click a signal on the waterfall if you want and it's going to tune automatically. And you can uh, tune signals in um, you know, lower, upper sideband, AM mode, FM mode, everything's included in here. So all you got to do is just have fun and listen to the broadcasts. So great website. Check it out. And uh, I will post the link, of course, of sdr.hu in the description below the video. Go and check out the different receivers on this website. Very, very cool uh, complement to our hobby, like I say. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up, and thank you for watching.